What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. Today I wanted to discuss, you probably noticed I'm sitting in the car right now because it was this this has just been on my mind since yesterday's video about the YouTube takedown of my uh, top video on the entire channel of all time. My top video I've ever created on any of those channels that I've attempted to try to do, um, which was that Apple M1 uh, VMware Fusion thing. Um, kind of more over it now today, less heated now um, after just making that video and just trying to calm down a little bit. But it got me thinking that where it, it got me thinking, where do I want this channel to go? OK, because I'm noticing that there's less and less Microsoft Store apps that seem deemable in terms of uh, what is good content and stuff. I'm noticing that there are less and less of that now uh, that I want to look at. Um, a lot of the apps out there, as you know, on the Microsoft Store are pretty trashy. They're not very good at all. And, and the design of them is also not very good. And they have a bunch of ads injected into them. And so my whole philosophy for this making this channel was to look into apps um, on platforms people don't really look at. First major platform for me was uh, the Microsoft Store. So what I'm thinking going forward, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this at all. I'm just saying this in a video for now, and I know it's about two minutes recording now, is that I wanted to think about making some videos on all apps all apps on all platforms i'm talking the chrome web store i'm talking um what is it the apple app store whether it's ipad uh or ios um ipad os or ios um with your iphone os whatever you want to call it i'm thinking of going uh amazon app store which is still technically android um i'm thinking of going the samsung uh, smart fridge that i have in the apartment that i'm at i'm thinking about doing apps for that i'm thinking about doing apps for a lot of things um just trying to see the best design apps with functionality and form together, like working cohesively, um, not just apps that are just designed well and not just apps that work well, but like digging into the reasons of why they work well or why they are why they are and showing you guys, hey, you guys should take a look at this too. You know me, I'm cheap, so a lot of them probably will be free still, um, which I know there's a lot more free stuff out there on those stores than even the Microsoft store, which doesn't actually have too many. Um, but I'm kind of thinking about it. I, I've been thinking about it for a while now. When I, before I even started Next Windows, I was kind of saying like, you know, do I want to just focus on Microsoft apps again, or do I want to expand and do all apps? Because I think there's a space on YouTube and on the internet where people want who just want to look for the nicest app to do whatever it is they want to do. Like my dad used to use a lot of uh, apps that converted things because he was a chemist with a PhD. Um, before he passed away in 2019 so it's like there's a lot of things with apps that i want he called it app called them applets you know things that have like you download an app and it has all these measuring tools and things like that in it so i'm kind of thinking about what i want to do next do i want to dive like spread out my wings and actually re record apps on all platforms whether it's on foldable type devices even though it's android see how they work with form and function do i want to look at like what do i want to look at i'm just kind of speaking out loud trying to see what's next it's not an update video it's more so what might come next for year two of next windows what might come next for anything related to you know the channel um will it even be called next windows going forward in the next year or two I have no idea. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole thing. I know I'm looking like up and down. There's also cars driving by, so I'm kind of distracted right now. I'm in a parking garage. Um, mixed reality, VR, but in general, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about that whole thing. Um, should I dive into more apps? Should I do take the art side of things that I do, where I work in a museum? I literally look at art every day and critique things and do tours of things, or should I dive in um, and, and take that knowledge that I've been doing and the explanation knowledge of tours and stuff like that and take it into the app realm deeper than just in the Microsoft store, take it into all stores, look at all apps from all platforms, all makes and things. As you notice, I've been doing GitHub stuff a lot now uh, because the Microsoft store, I feel like I've exhausted a lot of the solid apps out there that are currently out. I know there's more being made. Who knows? But I can ramble all day about this. I just wanted to quickly just talk about it and see where it might go. Um, 
I do have some of those trial run videos um, in the pipeline. Uh, I don't know when they'll go up, but I do have them in the pipeline. So you might start seeing some different apps out there. It'll kind of spread the name of Next Windows from being just from Windows to being just apps overall. So who knows what happens, but I think that's where my expertise lies. It's just critiquing and finding the best apps that follow the correct form and function of the design language that um, whoever the developer wants to follow, whether it's Material U, Apple's design language, Fluent UI, um, whatever it is, just following that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll stop rambling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.